Hello friends, this video on quadrilaterals part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's learn a very important concept called midpoint theorem. I'll request you guys to pause this video for some time, get a piece of pencil and pen and then start. We'll do activity. Let's draw a triangle and then let's mark the midpoint of these sides. Let me mark this point A, B, C. Let's uh, draw the midpoint of AB and AC. These are the midpoints of AB and AC and let me call this as E and F. And let's join these points E and F. And then you measure EF and BC with scale. You'll observe that EF will always be equal to half of BC. Please observe that this will always be true. Okay. Also, you observe this angle and this angle will always be equal. And this angle and this angle will also always be equal. You can just measure this with a protractor. You will see that AEF and ABC is always equal and AFC and ACB is always equal. So, three observations. One is EF is equal to half BC and these angles are equal. If these angles are equal, that means they are parallel, right? So, that means... EF will always be parallel to BC. So you can say these are the observations. If you draw a line segment by the midpoint of these two sides, then these line EF is actually parallel to BC. And it says it is midpoint, they are midpoint, and EF will be equal to half of BC. That is observed data. You have to prove it. We'll prove that, but first try drawing this on a piece of paper and observe that you are getting EF is equal to half BC and you are also getting EF is parallel to BC. Okay. Now since this is a theorem, let's try to prove it. Okay. The theorem is the line segment joining the midpoints of the two sides of the triangle is parallel to the third side. That is, this line segment joining the midpoints of the two sides of these triangles is parallel to third side. That is, this is equal to this. This is equal to this that is given. So we have to prove that EF is parallel to BC. So let me write this. What is given? Given is AE is equal to EB and AF is equal to FC. Right? To prove what? To prove EF is parallel to BC. That is what we have to do. Okay. To prove this, we can draw a CD which is parallel to BA. So let's draw a CD. This is actually parallel to BA. Let's draw this line and we'll extend this. And that is BD. So draw CD parallel to B or B E you can say. C D is parallel to B. Now if you see, therefore E B C B. Is this a parallel prime? We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Because that is what you have to prove. Okay. Now if you see, if you take these two triangles this triangle this triangle we can prove that they are congruent how these two sides are equal these two angles will be equal okay and this is parallel to this so these angles are also equal let me show you okay similarly this angle is also equal So if you take these two triangles now, A, E, F and C, D, F, you will see that angle A is equal to angle C. Angle E is equal to angle D. And angle F, angle F, they are same, particular opposite angle. Also, one side is same, that is AF and FC. AF and 
actually. So with this, you can prove that they are congruent. Correct. So if they are congruent, I can say that EF is equal to DF. That is EF is equal to DF. Also, A is equal to CD. A is equal to CD. Correct. So now if A is equal to C D and A is equal to B, so B is equal to C D and B is parallel to C D. So by the theorem, if their lines are parallel and equal, it's a parallelogram. Since it is a parallelogram, E F will be parallel to B C. So let me say that in triangle A E F and triangle C D F, if you see Let's take uh, one side. Let's take one angle E A D E A F equal to angle C D F or D C F. A A F is equal to C F and E F A is equal to angle D F A. This is vertical opposite angle. This is alternate angle and this is given. Therefore, triangle AEF is congruent to triangle CDF. Since they are congruent, A is equal to CD okay, and EF is equal to DF. DF. When you say A is equal to CD, A is equal to CD, instead of A, I can say what? B plus A is equal to B given. Instead of A, CD, I can say that A is equal to EB, EB is equal to CD. Now, if EB is equal to CD and EB is parallel to CD, EB is parallel to CD in construction, right, as per construction. Therefore, B E D C is a parallelogram. If B D E C is a parallelogram, E E D has to be parallel to B C. Or instead of E D, I can say that E F has to be parallel to B C, and that is what I have to prove. Okay. Also note that. Also we we'll note one more thing. I'll just show you. It is not required in this question, but I can show you this part. So. We know that EF is equal to DF, right? EF is equal to DF. That we know. So BC is equal to what? ED, that is also we know. Parallel sides of parallel, right? So BC by 2 is what? ED by 2. And what is ED by 2? That is EF. So what I have proved? EF is nothing but BC by 2. That is also we can easily prove. Correct? Why? See, BC is equal to FD, BC by 2 is equal to FD by 2, and FD by 2 is nothing but EF. Okay? Let's see if the converse is true. Let's do an activity. So let's draw a triangle. Okay? And let's take a midpoint of the side. Let's mark this point ABC. Let's take a midpoint of the side AB and mark it as point E. Now draw a parallel from here, from E, draw a line which is parallel to BC. Okay, so I'm not drawing a midpoint here first now of AC. I'm just drawing a line that is parallel to BC and which passes through E. And then that will meet somewhere at some point. So we have to, we'll see that, in fact, you can do this on your paper. You'll see that this line, let's suppose this is EF, EF is parallel to BC. You can try. So draw a triangle and take this point E and draw a line parallel to EF, draw a line parallel to BC passing through E. You'll see that this line touches AC at point F and then you'll observe that, you'll observe that AF is equal to FC. Okay. So you, you are drawing what? You're drawing point E is 
midpoint of AB. You have drawn this plus you have drawn EF parallel to BC. You have drawn some line here that is parallel to BC and this then you will observe that this point F is nothing but bisecting side EC. That is your observation. And let's see if we can prove it. This is a converse theorem. So if you see the statement the line drawn from through the midpoint of one side and parallel to one other side, one side parallel to another side, it will bisect the third side. This is the first side, this is second side, this is third side. Let's observe. So, so line drawn from the midpoint of one side, first side, parallel to the second side, will bisect the third side. That is what we have to prove. Similarly, we can prove in the same fashion. Let's draw this line and let's draw this line L also. Okay. And let this meet at point B. And let this be some point M. So what we are doing is we have drawn. So we have drawn C D parallel to B E. Or B A, whatever you want, you can say. Okay. And it is given that A E is equal to E B. So it is given. A is equal to B. So what we have to prove? And also EF is parallel to BC. So we have to prove that AF is equal to FC. Okay. So now if you take this triangle AEF and CDF, you take these two triangles, let's take this triangle. A, E, F and C, D, F. Let's see what is common. So A, E and C, D is their linear relation. A, E and C, D. Yes, you see A, E actually will be equal to C, D. Why? Because A, E is equal to B, E and we have drawn this in such a way that this is parallel, right? So we have drawn a parallel, parallel line here and we have drawn a parallelogram actually. Right, so A, A E is equal to B E is equal to C D. So A E is equal to C D. Okay. Then uh, let's see the angles A E F A E F. This angle. If these are parallel now, this angle will be equal to this angle. So A E F will be equal to F D C. A E F will be equal to F D C. Correct. Similarly, AFE will be equal to CFD, vertical opposite angle. So now if you see angle, angle, side. So with AS, they are congruent. Okay, so I just first mention that triangle AEF is congruent to triangle CDF by angle, angle, side. Okay. Now since they are congruent, what can we achieve from this? Since they are congruent, we can say that can we say AF is equal to FC? Yes. Therefore, AF is equal to FC. And that is proved. That's all we had to prove, right? That means F is the midpoint of AC. Pretty easy. Okay. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.